Hi, and in this video I'm going to be covering an overview of the network services. So the first thing we need to do is turn on the TXNR626 and then we need to actually connect to a network. You can do this one or two ways, either via a hardwire connection on the back or the new built-in Wi-Fi. And let's quickly recap on how we connect via Wi-Fi. We can do this by pressing the home button, selecting setup and going into the main setup system of the 626. We then need to move down to the hardware setting and then within the hardware setup we need to select option 4 which is all of the network setup. Now we've got two options in the network settings. We either can select wireless which is what we're going to do now or alternatively you can select the wired connection which is on the back of the receiver. And then for most of you, enabling the DHCP is all we need to do. This will grab all of the settings from your router and there's no more that's needed to be done. Also, if you want to control the 626 externally using an IP device like an iPhone or Android phone, then you need to make sure that the network standby is enabled and also you can enable the update service. And then we save all the settings and we're ready to go. Now when the 626 is actually connected to a network, you'll get a solid display on the front panel showing it's connected and displaying the Wi-Fi symbol. Now selecting the network services is really easy. You just press the net button on the remote control or the front panel. The input will change over and you've now got the network services laid out in front of you. So our first option up is tune in. Now this replaces our previous system that was called VTuner and here's a look at the actual website and there's over 70,000 live streaming radio stations and I shall give you a quick look through that right now. And as you can see from the menu system and the way it's laid out, you can actually search for different types of radio stations by location or language or genre. There's many, many ways of hunting through and finding the type of music that you actually want to listen to. And here's a shot of the actual content playing. And very quickly, it updates to give you some album cover work as well. Next up is Spotify, one of my personal favourites. Now, to use Spotify on an Onkyo AVR, you will actually need a premium account. But that's no problem. You can go to their website, sign up and subscribe, and then you'll have all that music available to you on your TXNR626. All you need to do is enter your username, password, and log in. That's it. Done. Next is Symphy, another online streaming music service. The TXNR626 really does offer you a large choice on your particular preference of music streaming or whether you want to actually hold your music on the cloud and download it and stream. But I possibly couldn't forget Last FM, which is also an internet radio that's based on your music preferences. So you don't actually have to listen to music you don't like, which makes a huge difference with radio. And then the final internet radio style streaming music system is Apio. And then last up is MP3 Tunes. Now this is a little bit different because it's essentially a music locker in the cloud of your music that you've uploaded to it. And then finally, we have full DLNA certification of playback of music. This means that you can actually have DLNA certified products across your house and stream music from one to the other. And it's very, very simple to do. Once you've pressed enter into the DLNA section, it will actually recognize all of the DNA certified products on your internal network. And very shortly, I'll be doing a full video on how to set up and use a DLNA network. And we've also employed a simple screen saver so your TVs don't actually get damaged and you can set the amount of time it takes before the screen saver actually turns on all in the settings menu. And finally, don't forget everything you're actually doing on screen is also duplicated on the front display panel of the TXNR626. So you don't always need to be in front of your TV screen or even have your TV screen on once you've got comfortable and you know where everything is. You can do it off the front panel. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.